This video introduces asymptotic notations, such as big theta, big O, and tilde. These notations are used in the analysis of algorithms to describe the efficiency of various algorithms. I'll start by introducing the notion of running time functions and orders of functions. I'll explain how to determine the order of a function and how to use this information to choose algorithms. After explaining some other asymptotic notations, I'll point out a few things to watch out for. The running time of an algorithm can be described by a function. This is normally a function of one variable, n, that indicates the size of the input. For example, for a sorting algorithm, n would be the length of the array being sorted. A function like t of n equals n squared, sometimes written simply as n squared, means that the time taken is the square of the length of the input. Running time functions generally increase with n, since processing larger inputs takes longer. There are many different functions that might describe the running time of one algorithm or another. Getting from a description of an algorithm to a running time function is beyond the scope of this video, but what do we do once we have such a function? How can we compare them? It seems hopelessly complicated. Fortunately, there is a huge shortcut. Functions can be grouped into orders. An order is a set of functions. Here are some functions in the order n squared, which is written with an uppercase Greek letter theta. The functions n and n cubed are not in this order. Orders are useful for two reasons. It's often easy to tell which order a function is in, and that's often enough information to decide which of two algorithms to use. For any function f, order f is the set of functions that grow about like f, that is, within a constant factor. The function n cubed is, of course, a member of order n cubed. 7 n cubed is also in this order, because it grows 7 times as fast, and 7 is a constant n to the fourth is not in this order because it grows n times as fast, and n is not a constant. There are many orders, but these are the ones we'll encounter most often. Among these, the fastest growing order is exponential. Since exponential functions are the fastest growing functions, algorithms with exponential running time are the slowest. Their running time quickly becomes huge. The slowest growing order is constant. Algorithms with constant running time always take the same amount of time, regardless of the size of their input. To determine the order of a function, we can take advantage of two simple rules. First, multiplying by a constant positive factor doesn't matter. 5n squared and 0.1n squared are both in order n squared. Second, adding or subtracting a function of a lower order doesn't matter n cubed plus 4n is in order n cubed, because the 4n becomes negligible as n becomes large. With these two rules, we can determine the order of many functions almost instantly. Consider this hairy-looking polynomial. The first term, 4n cubed, is in order n cubed, because it's n cubed times a constant. Similarly, 9n squared is in order n squared, 11n is in order n, and 20 is in order 1. The last three terms are all in lower orders, so the whole thing is in order n cubed. If we know the running time functions for two different algorithms for the same task, which one should we choose? Easy. The lower order is better. Here are several related asymptotic notations. From top to bottom, they are little omega, big omega, big theta, which we've already seen, big O, and little o. The O's are actually omicrons, but there's no way to tell the difference, and everyone says O. If I say that some function is in big omega of n, I mean that it's in order n, or maybe some higher order. These weaker statements are often sufficient for making decisions. For example, suppose we've shown that algorithm A takes time in order n log n. Algorithm b takes time in big O of n. We don't know what order algorithm b's running time is in, but at worst it's order n, which is a lower order than a's running time. Algorithm b therefore takes less time for large n, so it's preferable. 
Most authors use a combination of these notations, but some, notably Sedgwick and Wayne, prefer tilde notation. This notation both allows and requires us to be more precise. Writing f tilde g is similar to saying f is in big theta of g, but it doesn't ignore the constant factor. 3n squared is in big theta of n squared, but it is not true that 3n squared tilde n squared, because 3n squared grows three times as fast. There are a couple of things to watch out for when using these asymptotic notations. When not using tilde notation, watch out for the hidden constant factor. It is true that 4n is in big O of n, but this should not be misread as 4n is less than or equal to n. In fact, 4n grows four times as fast as n. All of these notations are about the asymptotic behavior of functions, what happens as n grows large. When n is small, an algorithm with a running time function in a higher order might actually be faster. For example, n cubed is in a higher order than 100n, but if n is small enough, n cubed is smaller. Some authors abuse these notations. Some, notably Corman et al., use an equal sign rather than set membership to show what order a function is in. This is an abuse because the types don't match. Writing 2n squared equals theta n squared is saying that a function is equal to a set of functions. This can be okay if used with care, but can get us into trouble. For example, it is true that 2n squared equals theta n squared, and also that n squared equals theta n squared. But if we treat these as regular equal signs, we might erroneously conclude by transitivity that 2n squared equals 2n, and therefore that 2 equals 1. Some sloppier authors conflate big O with big theta. They are not the same thing. If we know that algorithm A takes time in big O of n squared, and algorithm B takes time in big O of n log n, we can't conclude anything about which one is faster. It might be that algorithm A takes constant time while algorithm B is linear rhythmic, which would make A faster.